Right, we're back. Oh, God, what a couple of days we've had. Woof, babies, hospitals, all sorts going on here. Anybody that criticises the NHS, by the way, needs a slap. The only people that criticise the NHS are the people who think they're entitled to care. Brilliant. Anyway, won't bore you with that. Let's talk about um, this obesity cancer cigarettes thing that cancer research have done again, uh, which is an interesting one because I... Um, I remember back in the day when um, if you were fat, you were fat and that was unhealthy. Uh, Nowadays, it seems like we can choose the bits of being fat that we want. So we can say, well, I don't want people to to question my appearance. I don't want people to question my health. Um, But I still want to make these choices. Fine. Now, the thing is, right, this is the big thing. So I saw a tweet earlier from somebody that said, it was talking about overweight and, and then is it good or bad? Well, it's got nothing to do with good and bad. It's got to do with healthy and unhealthy because how you look is kind of irrelevant. That's your choice. How we look physically, how we choose to look in terms of weight is irrelevant and no one should judge you on that because that's, that's completely irrelevant. What we're talking about here is health. So, oh, cat. So, are we talking about obesity in the sense of is it healthy or unhealthy? Well, it's unhealthy to be obese. It's unhealthy. And I know because I've been obese, so I can talk about it till I, and no one can ever question me on it. It's great because I've been fat. And all these people talking about fat shaming usually never been fat. So, they've never experienced all the negative things that come with it. Yeah, physically. I've experienced it physically and mentally because I've been fat. So I know mentally how you feel when you're overweight or obese and it's not good. Okay? You shouldn't be chastised for it and this is the important thing. So when a campaign like that comes out, we should be alerting people to the dangers of being obese from a health point of view. If you're choosing to take that personally, that's your issue. It's not a personal issue. And Cancer Research UK are not making it personal. They're making it physical. Yeah, they are making it physical. Because if you go in to see a doctor and a doctor says to you, you have X condition and X condition is linked to the fact that you are morbidly obese, a doctor should be able to tell you that. It's not how you look. A doctor's not going to go, I don't like the way you look because you're fat. A doctor's going to say, X condition linked to obesity. And that should be fine, which makes you then make a decision on whether or not you continue the choices that are making you obese. Because if you are overweight, at the tip of the iceberg, you are eating too much and you're not moving enough. Now, under the surface, there may be other factors. And that's where you need some coaching and help, potentially. But on the surface, eating too much, not exercising enough. You might be a good person, valuable member of society, good parent, good grandparent, good friend, good worker, all of that good stuff. You're not a bad person, but if you eat too much and don't exercise, you will store body fat. And we can't be scared of telling people that. And if people want to feel bad about themselves because they're overweight, and that's the spur to get them to do something, that's also not a bad thing. Don't make people think it's okay to be unhealthy. Don't chastise them personally Help them, empower them, support them, show empathy, all of that. But don't make them think it's okay to be unhealthy and don't facilitate poor health choices that the individual can control, okay? Because when we empower people, like I try to do with my programs, yeah, it's great. I've just had a client lose a stone and a half in nine weeks, right? And they said to me this morning, I've not really struggled. You know why? Simple system. Long-term strategy, adherence. Yeah, no judgment, no shouting, no ridiculous exercise. Simple basics repeated every day, okay? Empowerment. No bullshit, no nonsense, just empowerment. So what we need to separate is physical and personal. If you're taking it personally, that's your issue. It's not personal. But if you're obese, it has got health risks. It's as simple as that. And we can't be scared of telling people that. Okay, so if you're upset by that, it's your that's your personal issue. If somebody's attacking you personally, that shouldn't be happening. But Cancer Research UK are not. They're stating facts. And this is a problem. It's a problem. And it's not fat shaming. Fat shaming is criticising somebody's appearance and personality for the choices that they make, which you shouldn't be doing. 
But to say that person's obese on a scale is a factual statement. So if you are looking for a bit of empowerment and you want some help, feel free to get in touch. If you're a woman over the age of 40, you want to get involved in the Fit Boy Bootcamp, you can do. We've got free trials starting next week. Uh, on the 8th of July, yep, yeah, the 8th of July. If you want to get involved in that, click the link above, click the link below, depending on where you're watching this, get your application form in. Like I said, we're an exclusive women-only program and we specialise in helping the over 40s. If you want any other help or you're not in that category, you don't want to do the group stuff, just get in touch with me via the page or, or via my profile, wherever you're watching this, uh, and we can help you out. Again, if you feel this would benefit anybody, um, please like the video, share the video, drop a comment in below. I'd appreciate it very, very much. Have a good day.